In this video, I'll be developing a quiz application using database. In one of my previous video lectures, I have developed the same application without using a database. So basically in that application, I was manually comparing the correct options with the options selected by the user. To avoid that manual intervention, here I'll be using the databases. So these are the softwares which I'll be using for the same. That is NetBeans ID 8.1 with Glassfish Server 4.1. MySQL 5.6 and MySQL Connector Jar 5. These are the steps for creating this application. First of all, I'll be creating a database in MySQL. So, as we can see here, QuizDB is the name of my database in which I'm creating a table named Quiz, which is having two columns. The first column is question and second column is answer. In this table, I'm inserting three records. So, as we can see here, my questions are Q1, Q2 and Q3 and the corresponding answers are A, B and C. Then we can go to NetBeans to create a new project in which first of all I'll be editing index.html file. Then I can create a servlet file. Before executing the project I need to add MySQL connector jar file and then finally I can run the project. So this is the expected output of this application. I'll be getting a quiz where I need to select the correct options. After selecting the options and clicking on submit button, whatever options are correct, as for that I'll be getting the points. So here if the user is selecting all the correct options, the user will be getting 3 points. In case of any mistake, the user may get 2 or 1 point. We'll start with the creation of database in MySQL. So my first query will be create. database quiz db second query will be for using the database so that is quiz db then I can create a table in it let's say my table name is quiz I'll be taking two columns here the first column will be for question Second column will be for answer. Here I'm describing my table. Now I'll insert three records in this table. So for inserting the record, the query will be insert query. Insert into quiz values. Let's say my first question is Q1 and the corresponding answer is option A. In a similar way, I can insert the second question. The answer is B. And third question is Q3. The answer is C. So if I'm firing select star from quiz it will give me all the records so under question we can find three questions q1 q2 and q3 in a similar way for answer we can find the corresponding options that is a b and c now to create a web application we have to go to file new project java web web application next Let's say the name of my project is quiz db app. Click on next. This is a default server. Click on next. We're not selecting any framework here. So click on finish. So this is quiz db app in which we can find index.html. Now on index.html, I have written a code for creating uh, the quiz. So basically, this is the first heading, that is quiz. I've taken a form tag with two important attributes. The first attribute is method, whose value is equal to get. And second attribute is action, whose value will be the name of the circlet. Three uh, GK questions I have taken. The first question is, which is the largest coffee production state of India? So the correct answer for this question is option A, that is Karnataka. 
for the second question that is which state has the largest area so for this question the correct option is option b that is rajasthan and for my third question that is which state has the largest population the correct answer is option c that is uttar pradesh so these correct options i have already inserted inside my sql table as we can see here so while creating these uh, radio buttons i have to make sure the name for these options will be the same so as we can see here these four options are belonging to the same question the name is common for them so first name is q1 for the second question for all the options i have given name is equal to q2 in a similar way for third question for all the corresponding options the name is q3 at the end i have taken two buttons the first button is of type submit and second button is of type reset so after executing this web application this output will appear on the screen so here we can find this is heading these are the three questions and at the end we can find two buttons submit and reset so my index.html file is ready now we can create the servlet file and for that i'll have to go to source packages right click new servlet the name of my servlet is was so the name of your package is servlet click on next check this checkbox so that the information will get added to the deployment descriptor and click on finish on the servlet file along with the basic packages we need to import two more packages so my first package is java.sql.star we are importing this package as we'll be using the classes like connection statement result set driver manager so for these classes we need to import uh, java.sql.star in a similar way in the same program i'll be making use of enumeration so for using enumeration i need to import the second package that is java.util.star so this is my uh, class quiz serve which is extending http servlet this is do get method inside do get method i'm creating the very first object that is out which is belonging to print writer class so all the printing task uh, can be carried out by making use of this object i have taken two string variables here the first string variable is for storing the value of parameter names and second string array is for storing the corresponding values of these parameters the next statement is connection con is equal to null so here i am declaring con as an object of connection class this object can be used for making a connection with my sql database for executing sql statements we are declaring the next object that is stmt which is belonging to statement class for storing the result of sql queries we are taking this third object that is rs which is belonging to result set class i have taken one integer variable that is cnt whose value is equal to 0 in a similar way i have taken one string variable ens whose initial value will be null so here i have taken the next object that is param names which is an object of enumeration in which i'll be storing the names of all the parameters so as we can see on index.html we have got various parameter names like q1 q2 and q3 these names will be storing inside param names now as we know that in this program i'll be comparing the option selected by the user with the answers which are stored in my sql table so for that we need to write the try catch block inside which we can make a connection with my sql database so inside try block first of all i need to initialize the jdbc driver so class dot for name inside which i'll be providing the name of my driver that is com dot my sql dot jdbc dot driver then i need to make use of driver manager dot get connection method to establish the connection with my sql database 
So in this way, we can establish the connection. That is by providing the string. Where inside this string, QuizDB is the name of my database. This is the username of MySQL, and this is a password. So once we'll make the connection with MySQL database, for executing the SQL queries, we need to create an object of statement class. For that, I have taken stmt is equal to con dot create statement. And now by making use of this stmt, I'm executing the query that is select ans from quiz. So as we can see here. In my table quiz, this is my ANS column in which these three options we have already stored. So these values, that is A, B, and C, will be retrieved here and will get stored inside RS. In while loop, I have taken two conditions. The first condition is RS dot next. And second condition is param names dot has more elements. Let us try to understand these conditions. So basically, rs dot next method will return true if rs will be having value stored into it. If it is having no value, it will give me false value. In a similar way, if param names param names is nothing but an object of enumeration, as we can see here. So if it has more elements present in it, it will return true, or else it will return false. So if these two conditions will get satisfied, then we'll move inside while loop. Now let us try to understand these statements inside while loop by taking an example. So here in the very first iteration, I'm saying string un is equal to rs dot get string. As we know that inside rs, these three values have got stored. So in the very first iteration, value a will be retrieved. And that value we are storing inside un. Now, in the next statement, I'm saying param names dot next element. So basically, enumeration will fetch the name of my very first parameter. As we can see here in index dot html, the very first parameter name is q1. So that value will be retrieved by next element method. Here we are performing type casting. That is, we are converting that object into string, and then the same value we are assigning to param name. So after assigning this value to param name, by using the same name, we are trying to fetch the value selected by the user. So as we can see here, for the very first question, we have got four options. Let's say the user has selected option A. So this value A will be storing inside. Param values string array. The return type of get parameter values is string array. So we have to uh, declare string array on the top, as we can see here. And inside this array, I'll be storing my answer. So as we are assuming that the user has selected answer A. Now inside this for loop, the length of param value will be one. So the value which will be stored at index number zero will be option A. That same option we are storing inside variable A N S. And here we are comparing the value of U N, that is A, with the answer selected by the user, which is A. As both the values are matching, we'll be incrementing the counter. So this was the very first iteration. Now in the second iteration, again. These conditions will get satisfied because we are having two more questions. Now, inside un, value b will get stored, as we can see here. In a similar way, for param names, q2 will be stored. And now, let's say for the second question, the option selected by user is b. So the same option will get stored inside. Variable ANS again will be comparing these values as these values will be matching with each other. Will be incrementing the counter. In case if the user is selecting the wrong answer, then here this if block will not get executed. Will be directly moving towards the next iteration, and in a similar way, even a third iteration will get executed. Finally, we'll be giving this message to the user that is you have scored, and then the corresponding value of counter variable. So my servlet file is ready now. I need to take this name and 
I have to assign it as a value of action attribute. Also, one more very important step is that we need to add MySQL connector file. So for that, I'll have to go to libraries, right click, add jar or folder. So this is MySQL connector file, which I'm selecting. So as we can see here, the jar file has got added. Now I can right click and clean and build the project. It's giving me build successful. So I can right click and run the project. So after executing this quiz application, this quiz appears. Let's say for the first question, I'm selecting option A. For second question, I'm selecting B. And for the third question, I'm selecting C. So all the options are correct. After clicking on submit, it is giving me you have scored three points out of three. Now let me re-execute the code. I'll make mistake in the very first question. And I'm resubmitting it. So here it is giving me you have scored two points out of three. In this manner, we can develop a quiz application using database. Thank you.